previously on RuPaul's Drag Race. We are throwing a fashion ball, darling. <laughs> Britta. Is it corn? Is it a pineapple? It's a pineapple. You did not execute your vision. Rock M. Sakura. More, more, more is not right. You do need to edit. Gigi Good. This look? Perfection. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You're the winner of this week's challenge. Britta, Chante, you stay. Rock em. Sachet away. <laughs> Back in the workroom, I just survived a lip sync, and I have so many emotions. I just hear Rockham's crying and how badly she wanted this, while other people did the bare minimum and skated by again. To all of my special queens, make sure you do what I couldn't do. Love yourself, respect yourself. Rockham, Sakura, love you all truly. We love you, Rockham. We love you, Rockham. We love you, Rockham. We love you, Rockham. When Rock turned the corner and we could hear her crying, my heart broke. Mine too, girl. I went into that workroom for a talk to thinking that I was like, safe. Honey, that shook me up. My mind has changed. I'm like putting it into full gear because I'm Brita, bitch. In New York, I am always at the top because I work so hard. And that's what makes it so hard to be in the bottom. I also think I don't belong in the bottom. Oh, I gotta get these tears out of my oh. eyes because we do have to celebrate Miss Gigi Good. Yeah, congrats, Gigi. Congrats, Gigi. congrats, Gigi. I'm very, very happy that I won the challenge that I wanted to win the most. Yeah. Yeah, and you and deserve it. You're such an you. amazing designer. Nikki, how are you feeling about your critiques? I feel happy because being praised for what I've created boosts my ego, and now I can allow myself to be even more outside of my comfort zone and just more goofy. And You totally have that goofy side to you. I've seen yeah. it already. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see it yet. Next week, I'm going to walk down where where's Quasimodo. Oh, my God. <laughs> week after week, I just feel more and more weakened. I see them seeing something in Aiden. They're like, you're so special. How can they see something in, in her like that? And because I look polished, I just don't have it. Aiden, how are you feeling right now? I mean, I know up until tonight, like, I haven't had anything to go off of yet until tonight. I really honestly did think that you would probably be in the bottom. Just solely based off, like, the looks. They liked the look. They wanted more. I wanted a very Betty Page-esque look, and I didn't want to just start stacking on just for the hell of it. You cannot afford to make excuses for yourself to not do the best or better than you know you can do. I didn't just sit back and think, like, all right, I'm, I'm done, guys. Like, who gives a No. Since you take naps while all of us are working hard, she literally just put balls on a corset. The one thing that they keep telling me is I do have that uniqueness about me, and I just need to bring that to the table, so... Yeah. A lot of these girls thought that I probably should have been in the bottom two for the ball challenge, but I wasn't. Britta should have been safe. <laughs> and you're saying Aiden should have yes. been home? Yes! But I see a fire in her, and I feel like she might be able you to see a candle. Oh! We are all in this competition together, and we are all competing for the same crown. So I don't care what your background is or what reputation you have. If the judges aren't seeing what they want to see from you, then bitch, bye. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a cash prize of $100,000 with extra special guest judge Normani. Woke up, I'm breathing. That means it must be a new day in the workroom. <laughs> Week five with no men. How are y'all feeling? Oh! <laughs> Which one of us is the trade besides me? <laughs> I have deemed myself trade of the season because I am the sexiest one in the room here and everywhere. I think Jan would be trade yeah. if she had her boy brows. Oh! <laughs> Sheila already done had hers. 
My queens, hey. how's your head? Hey, feeling a little sickening? <laughs> well, get ready to walk into this competition nurse first. Hello, hello, hello. Ladies, I've been going over your charts. I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is your pussies are on fire. <laughs> the good news is there is no cure. <laughs> For this week's maxi challenge, you need to overact in the longest running drag queen scripted show on TV. A little medical drama we're calling Gay's Anatomy. I am so excited. It's an acting challenge. I'm feeling confident. I'm ready to show them everything that I learned getting my BFA. The script is filled with juicy roles from beloved doctor Meredith Gay to chief of staff Rhonda Shimes to the patients whose very lives hang in the balance. The hardest part will be deciding which role to assign to which queen. If only there were a pill for that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, pit crew. Oh, oh, oh. Doctor, doctor, somebody check my temperature. Nurse. Nine of these 11 bottles contain a silver pill, a placebo with no power but two bottles contain a pink pill. The two queens that choose a pink pill will be in charge of casting all the roles. Pit crew, your patience await. And ladies, I'm sorry to inform you, there will be no anal option. Oh. Perfect. Breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, you may open your bottles. These bottles are childproof, which may prove difficult for some of you. Oh, oh Nikki and Gigi. Oh, yeah, Gigi. <laughs> Nikki Doll and Gigi Good, you got the pink pills. That means you are in charge of casting. All right. Choose wisely, girls. <laughs> Gentlemen. Start your ambulances, and may the best woman win. I'm Dr. Meredith Gay, world famous for my surgical skills and my bad taste in men. Before any of the roles were actually assigned, as a group, we all looked through the script to find out who we are thinking we might like to play. OK, we all feel like we kind of have an idea of what we want. Yeah. I want Dr. Meredith Gay. I think I want to do Dr. Meredith Gay number two. So there's two of you bitches. I don't understand why Jan wants to be Meredith number two. Part of the comedy of the challenge is for the two Merediths to look very different, but whatever. The sequels are never good as the originals. I like Dr. Sandra O'Connor. I'm thinking Mimi. Mimi? I would love to play Dr. Mother Gay. Sherry sure be so good as Mother in that wheelchair. I would like to play Mother too. Why well, you want to talk backstage? <laughs> Nikki and I will go over and deliberate. Oh. Nikki and Gigi, they're, they're, they're sweet spirits. I don't think they're going to sabotage a bitch. But you never know. The sweet ones are the ones you got to look out for. Dr. Tizzy Steepens will be moi. What do you want to play? I think Baby is really iconic, but he doesn't have a lot of lines. Yeah, uh, wouldn't it be cool if you were able to get the baby with the smallest amount of lines and, like, yes, kill for it? Sure. Who did Widow want to play? Um, mother. I think it should be <sighs> Sherry. Do you feel comfortable giving a, a role to Widow that she didn't pick? Mm, I don't want to be that girl. Well, one of us will have to be. <laughs> Honey, who wanted it? Nobody picked her. Aiden wanted Mimi Dearest. Aiden doesn't really strike me as somebody who's going to stand out. Because there's a ghost, and due to Aiden's personality, I think that could be a good idea. I agree. All right, so are we ready to <laughs> drop the ball? <laughs> yeah, All right. Oh, hey. All right. Ladies, we have made some decisions. Dr. Meredith Gay won with Jackie. Yay. Dr. Meredith Gay two with Jen. Dr. Sandra O'Krrr would be Brita. Yes! 
Then Henny will be played by Aiden. Okay. Are you happy with it? Um, I guess I'm gonna have to be, aren't I? When we were deciding, we were like, I think she could do good as like a ghost. No, I mean like that's literally not a read. Like, she's a bombshell with a liberal code when it comes to sex and relationships. She's the Mae West type. Aiden, like you know Mae West, right? Um, probably not like you guys. Oh, but, yeah. How do you not know who Mae West is? Call my lawyer. For Dr. Mother Gay, we have Mrs. Sherry, obviously. Then Mimi Dearest will be Widow. I will be Baby Dearest. So we're we'll baby. be <laughs> the family. These bitches. Does anybody have like any qualms or issues or yes. anything with their role? How are you feeling about Mimi Dearest, Widow? Because you don't seem to be super happy. Well, just like Aiden said, we don't really have a choice. Let's do it. I didn't get the role I wanted either, but at the end of the day, you just have to suck it up and make it work. Would she rather Henny? No, I can do Mimi, it's fine. Would you rather be Henny or Mimi? I, I can mean, do, I, was, I can do Mimi, it's fine. All right, everybody good? Good to highlighting and memorizing. memorizing. Ciao. I feel like this is about to be a show. I'm excited to see you as a ghost. Boo. Coming up, you were not happy with your role? I mean, I wanted to play something a little more serious. You wanted to play something a little more serious on RuPaul's Drag Race. 